today we're going to take a look at the anti-shock lanyard from Turfelberger. The anti-shock lanyard comes equipped and ready to go with two fasteners for your carabiner and, and all the information that you require in the, in the manual. Don't forget to read that, there's some good information in there. Remember, it's really important that this product is not for PPE. It is just for holding tools such as chainsaws up into the canopy with you to prevent them falling. So the features of the chainsaw lanyard are the fact that it has an elasticated strap that holds the chainsaw to the climber. This retracts, so it allows full reach because it elasticated out and then allows full reach as the climber's working around the tree. The benefit of the elastic is it retracts to stay at getting caught unnecessarily around branches while the climber is working. The next feature of the anti-shock lanyard is contained in this area here. Inside is a sewn webbing sling. Now its job is to protect the climber from any unexpected loads. Let's say that the chainsaw is making a cut and while they're doing the cut, the chainsaw gets stuck in the piece of wood and the chainsaw is now falling with the piece of wood. When the lanyard starts to absorb the energy, if it, when it gets to approximately 2 to 2.7 kilonewtons of force, this webbing in here starts to deploy. And its job is to de-accelerate the load, thereby taking the shock off of the climber. If, however, the load is too great, uh, when the webbing is torn approximately 70 centimetres, the, the webbing will break, releasing both the chainsaw and the load, and the chainsaw will continue down, unfortunately, and hit the ground. The benefit of this system is that the climber is protected and also the climber's anchor point is protected so that it doesn't snap out or the climber has severe injury from an accelerating load landing on their harness. The lanyard is supplied in two options. Uh, without hardware, so you can add in your own carabiners as I've done here, or you can buy them with rings or carabiners already installed for you. The anti-shock lanyard is designed for carrying heavy loads in the tree, such as chainsaws, whilst the climbers are working. It is attached to the back handle, or the rear handle chainsaw. It is girth hitched on. This little ring here is just to enable you to get the lanyard back off of the saw, should this girth hitch cinch up, cinch up too tight. Alternatively, on a top handled saw, you can girth hitch onto the attachment point on the back of the chainsaws to securely fasten the lanyard to the saw. So the carabiner closest to the chainsaw, or the ring in this case is closest to the chainsaw, is there so that the climber can clip the chainsaw up close so the chainsaw isn't swaying around while they're moving around the canopy. This carabiner also be, could, could be connected directly to the back of the chainsaw if you don't want to girth hitch it onto the back of the handle. It's also important to make sure that you attach the anti-shock lanyard the right way round. This side is the side that goes to the climber's harness. You can secure the carabiner in place by using the little clips, the rubber clips supplied with the anti-shock lanyard and it holds the carabiner secure and stops it turning left or right while it's at work. For the anti-shock system to work effectively, it's really important that it is attached to the right position on the harness. For instance, if it was attached into this gear loop here, this plastic is designed to fail at about 10 kilograms of force. So unfortunately, this is going to break before the anti-shock system is deployed. This red strap here only holds two kilograms. So this is definitely going to break before the anti-shock system is deployed. So it's important that we place the lanyard where it should go. And this ring at the back of the harness is rated for PPE as well. So therefore it will hold 15 kilonewtons of energy. So well above uh, what this anti-shock system needs to deploy. And being in the middle of the harness, it has a couple of benefits. It allows the climber equal reach to the right or to the left of themselves whilst they're working. But also when and if a load is applied, it's applied centrally down the climber's body, therefore reducing the injuries and fatigue that the climber will take whilst working. So this is one method of sending the chainsaw up the tree to the climber. Um, We've attached the chainsaw to the rope via the top carabiner 
leaving this end free so the climber can grasp it and clip it to their harness once the chainsaw arrives.